Hello again. So you might uh, hear from my voice that's a little bit slightly different. I've been struggling with the cold for the last week. So um, yeah, that's that. Um, today I'll be reviewing something unusual, which is uh, two pairs of glasses that uh, I just, well, I had one pair and I just thought I would buy another one before my trip to Jordan. Um, and you might think well, how relevant is that to filmmaking or, or photography or whatever. It's very relevant uh, for a person like me who experience pretty much I live my life through my eyes, through the imagery. And when you're traveling or when you're in some sort of sunny environment, obviously you're wearing sunglasses and uh, that impacts greatly how you see the world. Ideally, I'd like them to be as neutral as possible, but and usually it's not the case. Usually it's there is some sort of tint and it can be sometimes heavy, can sometimes not too heavy. And so in this case, I'm comparing the Ray-Ban Clubmasters to Oakley Sabitars. Um, Clubmasters have non-polarized, both, both number non-polarized glasses and the Clubmasters are uh, sepia tint uh, like and the uh, Savitars uh, are like uh, purple-ish, which has ruined the experience for me, to be honest. Anyway, so starting with the Ray-Ban Clubmasters, um, a real classic, real nice uh, frame uh, with the golden accents and supposedly made in Italy. Um, not the biggest fan of the build quality. I mean, they're chunky. They, they feel like robust, but they don't feel feel like they've been particularly well made if i if i place them on the table right yeah there is a there's a couple of mil um difference between the the legs and and i just cannot get a comfortable fit to be honest um when i put them on i know they potentially fit me better compared to the um oakley's um but uh, it's just something about the fitment that is not right but in terms of the actual lenses, they're superb. They're some of the best stuff I've ever um, looked through. And uh, sometimes I even may sacrifice the the the, the comfort, you know, or, or the styling to to the how the lenses are showing um, through the glass. And this one of the reasons why I don't like um, polarized glasses. It's just because looking at the screen through them, or depends how you tilt your head it can distort the view, um, distort the colors of the view um, and the reflections. Uh, so, so yeah, so that's not, that's not, not ideal. And I, I prefer the glass that's uniform Oakley. They're using their new prism lens, um, supposedly enhances the colors and whatnot, right? And uh, as soon as I put them on, it's, it's nothing enhancing. It's, it's just, uh, it's just everything looks dark purple. That's it. To be honest, it's one of the worst tints I've ever seen on any glasses. Um, that said, the frame is titanium construction. Um, if I rest them, they rest perfectly. There is no differences between the legs being uh, higher or lower. Uh, the frame means that the frame, the frame is not um, tilted in any way. Um, and they do have the legs uh, bending outwards um, when you when you squeeze them out. That adds so much to the comfort because the ray bands don't and the the biggest issue and actually the reason why i consider uh, bought these as well is to replace these hopefully um because they feel like i said not quite nice on my head um it feels very stiff um where these you put them on you don't feel them and partially again because of the flexible um outer and very thin wire legs um and also there is titanium made uh, the, the, the whole construction is supposedly titanium, although if I flex open I can see some parts that look potentially brass, but the build quality is superb, uh, it's such a minute tolerance, it, it looks amazing. Um, and they might not fit to me, to my shape of head uh, or face, you know, uh, the best. Uh, I do find them a million times more comfortable. And especially because they wrap around your face compared to Ray-Bans. Ray-Bans are a bit more straight, so you have a lot more peripheral vision interfering with your uh, with your view. These would be superb, so I'm really having a tough time to decide which ones I'm gonna actually keep. Well, I'm keeping these forever because that's my wife's gift. Um, but, uh, but with these, I'm not sure if I should return them and get them with the different lenses, although I checked um, they don't really have much choice for for the lenses um i don't know why they sound silly a bit but yeah 
So yeah, if you are considering any pair, I hope I exposed some of the weak points and some of the strong points of each. Um, and like I said, being uh, someone who lives through their eyes and enjoys world more than anything through my eyes, I consider that purchase to be quite important, um, for me at least, and hopefully for the people similar like me. Um, and yeah, and that's it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.